If you type into YouTube, how to start, the thing that comes up before starting a business, before how to start a fire, is how to start a YouTube channel. I think this shows that a lot of people want to have people watching their videos. And I personally think that absolutely anyone can have a decent amount of subscribers, decent amount of viewers. And that's what this video is gonna be about, is some general guidelines of how you can go about having a successful YouTube channel. Hello, my name is Simon Cade, and this is DSLR Guide. So there's a lot of videos out there about how to start a successful YouTube channel. And I think while things like doing good titles, thumbnails, and having tags, and approaching blogs, and all these sort of things, I think they are important, but I don't think they are more important than the number one thing, in my opinion, and that is that you actually enjoy making the content. So if you're having fun producing it, and filming it, and editing it, all this stuff that happens before you actually hit upload, if you're enjoying that process, then I think you're good to go because then when you find that you're not getting any viewers, that won't discourage you. When you find it takes a whole year before you get any kind of recognition, that also won't discourage you. And other things like hateful comments on YouTube which are bound to happen and the amount of time it takes to put in. You know, all these things that seem quite negative, but you know what, if you're actually enjoying making the content, then that doesn't matter. So in the whole scheme of things, this channel has still got a pretty small audience, but I would like to use it as an example because it's shown me a lot about what sort of things work and just some general ideas about how to go about making videos that people will want to watch. And I would just like to say before anything else that every channel is completely different. And if there's one thing we know about the internet, it's that it's not predictable. And you know what, there's no, there is no set formula but there are some things you can do to really help yourself along the way. So although these are things which have worked for me and should work for a lot of people, there is really no guarantees. And you know what, everyone should have their own separate story, which is a little bit different from everyone else. So I started this channel because I wanted to talk about filmmaking. Some people really enjoy getting some mates together and talking about sports, and they'll talk for hours and hours about all the different plays and all the different players. But for me, I just really like talking about filmmaking stuff. So that's why I started setting up a camera because I don't know that many other filmmakers. So I just wanted to vent these ideas. And I did have in the back of my mind the idea that maybe some people may be a little bit interested in watching these videos. But the main point here is that I was doing something which I wanted to do anyway, and it was something that I enjoyed. So this goes for all kinds of videos, documentaries, short films, music videos. The important thing is that if you enjoy the process, then it's gonna make the whole YouTube thing a lot easier and I think that it will actually show through in your content as well if people can tell that you're enjoying yourself and that you want to do this but if the only part of the process you enjoy is watching the views and likes come in then I really think that you'll struggle to find any success or even want to carry on doing it so the second thing to keep in mind is whether you think the channel will be valuable to anyone so again for this channel the idea is educational videos I know in myself that if I went back in time and could show myself these videos two years ago, I would definitely learn a lot and they would be very helpful to me. And again, this applies to all kinds of videos. The people watching your videos could find that it's valuable to them because they learn something or because they smile or because it just makes them have a better day or it inspires them to do something. You know, a short film could be hugely inspiring. A music video could be entertaining. Just any of these kind of broad things which mean that they actually get are getting something from the video. So it's really about finding a balance between things that you enjoy and presenting them in a way that people can get something from them. Now the next thing is that 99% of the time you won't find people to watch your videos that quickly. And this is where it's really great when you enjoy the, making the content because then you just get full chance to practice. And if you just carry on releasing regular content, then you are only gonna get better. It took me over a year before I reached 1,000 subscribers, and if you look back to my early videos, you'll see just how awkward they are, where I'm saying, um, constantly, and the videos themselves are really not that interesting. Um, 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 now, but that's okay, because I needed to get through that stage in order to get where I am now. And I'm sure that another year from now, 
I'll look back at these videos and think, wow, I'm really glad that I kept doing that because you know what, now the videos are a lot better. And this goes the same for whatever kind of videos you're doing. If you put the time in and have fun along the way, then you're going to be setting yourself way, way above all those other people who just try it a couple of times, upload two videos, and then decide, you know what, I'm going to give up because no one's watching these videos or I'm not having fun. So that, I think, is the absolute main thing. So that's my advice, despite the fact that there is absolutely no formula for success on YouTube. And this is because, you know what, the people behind those views are people. And that's the main thing to remember, is that you can't really put them in a box and say, this is why people are watching this video, this is why they're not watching this video. It all comes down to the fact that, at the end of the day, there are people sitting behind their screens who are responsible for the view count on videos and the like count and all that sort of stuff. And that's certainly something I have to remind myself on a regular basis. Now, you remember how I said about the important thing is whether your content has value to someone? Well, I've been trying to implement this into my Twitter account recently. So this is gonna be every week, I'm gonna share a filmmaking tip, idea, or like general inspirational quote. And that's gonna be under the hashtag DG ideas, as in DSLR guide ideas. And that's along with my other hashtag that I've been doing for a couple of weeks now where I share videos which have been really useful to me or inspirational. So if any of that sounds remotely interesting or useful to you, then feel free to check out my Twitter at DSLR Guidance. And yeah, that's it for this week. Hope this video has been helpful and I'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.